screeching from the dead. <laughs> Welcome back to The Spiritual Social. I'm Lexi, your local light worker. I'm a tarot reader and an astrologer. Welcome, beautiful souls. I hope you're having a good day. And if it's not good, I hope that we can make it brighter. So in this reading today, I thought I would tackle a much requested topic lately. It seems that career matters are on your mind. So I just thought I'd create a more inclusive reading where I explore the question, what is coming up next on your professional path? I am saying inclusive because I know that a variety of my crew members are are students, so they're not yet part of the earn your keep kind of world, while others are in more advanced stages. I know that there are some people that are also retired. So I wanted to open it up to the possibility of work. What is coming up on your professional path? It could even be whether you are entertaining um, a hobby that you're trying to transform into a lucrative stream of income. We'll see what pops up. As always, I'm trying to make these readings as general and as inclusive as possible, but feel free to get in touch with me for a more personalized readings. I do offer one of those. I offer a career reading and I got some really beautiful feedback from you guys regarding it. Okay, so let me introduce to you the options that I have here for you today. I just thought I'd give you a choice of lipsticks because I don't know, maybe it's just me, but... Potentially, you might resonate with this too. Whenever I put on a bold color, I feel very confident at work. So I used to wear some of these bold colors when I was teaching, which kind of made me stand out from the teaching staff, but it empowered me and it made me feel like, I don't know, what I was doing was a little bit brighter, a little bit more unique and interesting to look at. So the choices that I have here for you today, I do need to say a disclaimer, I don't advertise or represent these brands in any way. They, these are just uh, lipsticks that were affordable, that I just picked up from a drugstore. I like the color and it just pulled me in. That's all that it is to it. So I have here for you guys, for option one, Love Big <laughs> from All May. It is a brand I think that I found in America and it is this incredibly pink hmm. There's a small hair there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Incredibly pink, creamy lipstick. Okay, so that's for group one, if you feel drawn towards this one. And then for group two, I have this golden lipstick from Max Factor. Um, and it's a very dark burgundy with some uh, scintillating flecks. See, beautiful. And it is the color Mulberry. This one was my favorite when I was teaching. And then here I have a bourgeois velvet lipstick. It's uh, the new generation of lipsticks. It looks like this. Yeah. And the color is, <laughs> you're gonna love this. It's called uh, ping pong. It kind of, I kind of rubbed it out. So take a moment now to figure out which of these three options pulls you in the most. I'm sure that the majority of you have already Pick the favorite, so go by your gut reaction, your gut instinct. Before you go for your choice, I would like to draw your attention to the many links that I have in the description box below. You can now become a member of this channel and gain access to exclusive pick a card readings. Um, I have a one card reading that I pull each week for my light crew and for my solar crew. I have a variety of 18 plus erotic readings. So make sure that if you want to access extra content from the spiritual social, you become a member and you support this channel. Thank you so much to all the current members. I love you guys. Thank you for the support. You give me life. <laughs> I also have a Twin Flame novel that you can purchase and I got excellent reviews on this one, guys. Thank you so much for enjoying The Storyteller and for sharing with me your Twin Flame journey. You can also follow my other channel, Spiritual Soulscapes, where I upload meditations, readings in Romanian. If you want to hear me talk in my native tongue, go and check that out. I also have Instagram, so if you want to follow me there, I do giveaways, I do pick a card readings, and I keep you guys up to date with what I'm learning at the moment about mythology and astrology, so make sure that you follow me there as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I also have a Tara and Amazon wishlist. I'm already tired with all of the things that I'm creating. <laughs> 
I have a website that you can have a look over. My personal readings eShop list is there. Um, no, I, I generally enjoy everything I'm doing. It's just it's a bit of a hassle for me to list all of these things. But I do know that I have new subscribers that stumble upon my clips. And I do want to keep you guys informed so that you don't miss out on all of the yummy things I'm preparing for you. I love you all so much. Thank you for the support. Let's get on to your reading. Hey group one, hey my beautiful souls, welcome to a pick a card reading on the topic of what is coming up next on your professional path. This is for those of you that were drawn to this love big bright pink lipstick. Let's see what messages do you need to hear at the moment regarding your professional career. I'm going to live shuffle from the dreams of Gaia Tarot and I'm going to pull some oracle cards from the wisdom of the oracle. We're going to keep it short and simple and effective today. We have perception. I feel that you need to put your heart into whatever it is that you're doing. If you are not going to put your heart into it, Saturn is going to remove this work opportunity from your life. The transit of Saturn in Aquarius, potentially at the time at which I'm filming this reading, Saturn is in the sign of Aquarius. I feel that Saturn is going to cut out of your life whatever you don't commit to 120%. If you are in a job and you're just barely making it through the day, you just go to your job, but you spend most of your time looking at cat videos on YouTube <laughs> or distracting your attention by spending too much time drinking coffee next to the photocopier, it's time to quit. It's time to look for something else. I know you might enjoy the stability, but I have a feeling right now that you need to follow your heart, your intuition, your instinct. I feel like even at nighttime, you might have these dreams that show you a different path that you need to walk on. Believe those dreams. Trust whatever messages you're getting from the ether. Don't really follow the logical beaten track. In this period, it's really important that you step out of the niche box into which you have placed yourself. This is a powerful major arcana. It's a fated force in your life. Is your heart in it? Great. Keep on putting in the effort. It will pay off massively by the end of Saturn's transit, which completes itself in January 2023. You will have accomplished a beautiful work of art, a beautiful creative project. Your collaboration is going to be fruitful. Uh, I hear some of you are designing computer games. Wow, my people, wonderful. You will have success. If you are writing your PhD, your thesis, preparing a long written piece, don't give up. Talk to a supervisor, give your work to have a different set of eyes running over it, proofread it, give it to a friend that has no idea about the topic that you're actually writing, just somebody that is completely out of the environment into which you are preparing to ascend or enter or be part of, give it to somebody else. Their outsider perspective is going to inspire you and it will help you understand where things are not working properly, okay? So a variety of different situations. Please excuse me if not all these messages fit your current situation, but I need to read for both people that are already in paid employment and also students. And these are the messages that are just pouring out of me. So I'm going with this flow. So follow your heart. Follow the moon, follow the intuition, be perceptive in this period. Go by hunches, go by intuition. If you suddenly wake up one day and instead of actually sticking to your, I hear, boring routine, ooh, for some of you, you really need to revitalize your routine um, because it's it's becoming far too humdrum. You're not, you're not living for it anymore. You're not inspired and it's draining your vitality. So be mindful, okay? Don't turn into an office zombie get your vitality back change relocate switch jobs um, talk to a superior to move you on a different project if you're stuck with a writing project give it to somebody else an outsider to have a look over it and tell you their genuine perspective their genuine non-expert perspective that's really important because you could be too bogged down in your expert mindset so it's really important to follow your heart follow your intuition I also feel that for some of you, mother healing is necessary in order to unblock some of this energy. Your emotions could be stuck. You could be having some physical symptoms. There could be some sort of heart block because you are suffering in a connection with the mother or a mother is currently undergoing some sort of illness. 
maybe the mother is too critical maybe the mother is suffering and she needs your help or she is a bit overbearing i'm reading here for a variety of different situations but i feel that the mother has something to do with your blocked emotions and it's not that you have an incapacity to follow your emotions it's just that you're closed off to them because it would be too painful to open up the can of emotions and it's related to a mother figure if you are a mother this is related to your relationship to your daughter okay or a parent more generally speaking this is your relationship to your daughter both as a man or as a woman if you are a parent your daughter needs you there is something not working out there and resolving that issue will unblock your energy at work now what else is coming through wow so much just from one card i didn't expect that so let's see spirit so you got a variety of cards right now we have here the three of cups very soon you will be able to celebrate i feel that you might go out for drinks with friends you might attend some sort of um team building you might celebrate uh, you might get an award a certificate there could be graduation day coming up for some of you out there you'll feel very good there will be an opportunity for you to party to raise a glass and toast to the company's success to the achievement of the studies that you have completed to just enjoying and celebrating the fruits of your labor so i feel like for some of you this message is don't give up before the finish line for others of you um, you might be happier in another place okay so you need to think out of two options that might not be working for you anymore choose the third one choose the option that is like the escape if that makes any sense <laughs> for some of you that will resonate we also have here the eight of pentacles money hard work effort finish it off put the details into it and send it out that's what i'm hearing for some of you for others of you expect a raise expect a promotion your efforts are going to be noticed do you see all this abundance of green more money is coming your way for some of you that resonated with i need to quit my job and move to someplace else do it because you will get more money okay you might not believe it at the moment but start looking for a job and you'll see that an opportunity will pop up where you will be able to do something similar to your skills and your expertise but you will gain more money for others of you, this will talk about the end of a period of being an apprentice, a student, and you had to struggle to get by. Now you're going to get a job that will actually give you an income so you can organize your day however you please and you can have um, a disposable source of money that you can basically manage. So there is a feeling here of your efforts will be repaid um, and literally repaid in terms of material resources and monetary so we have here desire so this talks about the devil the devil energy is quite strong especially when it is next to the eight of pentacles i would say stand in your integrity you don't have to sell your body sell your soul or do something demeaning join the mob <laughs> or scam people in order to make money all you need to do is to follow your intuition and to act quickly on this decision that you've been stalling be brave be bold make this leap of faith and you will be rewarded with a lot of money that will come to you without you needing to um, obtain it in an underhanded secret manner um, there could be as well an indication here a slight warning from spirit that you've been too focused on the material reward in this period and maybe this has made you a little bit fearful maybe if you're just close to graduating or if you're trying to change jobs you're putting your fears in front of your desire to grow so instead of saying as a student wow i have all this freedom right now yes you know i can I can earn money <laughs> i will apply i will find a job that i'm really going to that i'm really going to fit into it you might be thinking oh god now i have to find a job how will i make ends meet how will i pay the bills what will happen will people like me switch the mindset okay <laughs> to such an extent that i'm also switching my hair for you switch the mindset because money is coming a lot of it believe in yourself believe in yourself that's all you have to do don't think negatively put uh what was the expression put the horse before the cart don't put the horse before the cart. <laughs> 
I should stay away from these expressions if I, if I don't really mean, know exactly what they mean. It's some sort of like a farmer's expression. Anyway, sorry, I stopped the flow. Think of the best. You are the best. You will make it. Whatever you don't know about a certain profession that you want to gain access into, you're going to learn it on the go, on the job. So please don't think of the fact that I need to be perfect. I need to have all these skills. Read job descriptions as some sort of potential. Even if they require you to have phenomenal skills and know a lot of different programs and speak a lot of different languages, still apply. If that job excites you, if it interests you, if you want to be part of that company, that collective, if you want to start your own business, if you want to begin a project but you don't know if it will be successful or not, begin it nonetheless. Apply nonetheless. You could be having the beautiful energy of Jupiter and Aries. Um, I don't know why this is actually Capricorn, but for some reason, right now, this image is speaking to me of Aries, um, the ram. So I have a feeling that this energy is really helping you achieve phenomenal leaps. So even though you might be feeling unprepared, your courage is going to see you through and you will gain all the necessary preparations on the job, on the spot. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that was powerful. Just be careful about being too, um, too focused on the material aspects. Let's see. I do feel that you're completing a cycle as well uh, with Saturn energy over here. There is this just this feeling of, okay, I need to close this chapter. I need to close that door in order for the new to manifest in my world. Oh, and I'm just realizing right now, guys, that I said that this is the devil desire, but this is number 20. So this is actually a judgment. But for some reason, this resonated very strongly with Saturn. So I'm going to leave it at that, okay? I'm not going to backtrack on that interpretation. It is what it is. It is the channeled message that came through. One second, because the card fell to the floor. Aleop, we found it. Unfinished Symphony. Whoa. For some of you... <laughs> so what I'm getting here is that for some of you, uh, you think you're ending a course of study. You think you're saying bye-bye to a certain institution and they will want you to work for them. So maybe you're finishing your degree, your PhD, your master's, your bachelor, and you think that's it. Um, that's the final chapter with this specific academic environment with this institution. And then you might actually find a job opportunity to work there in um, maybe academic administration. For others of you, there could be a situation where you've completed a study and maybe the company that has hired you paid for that study. So now you're going to get into the really practical, interesting part of the job that you actually trained for. For others of you, I have a feeling that an employer from the past, as you're looking to relocate to another job, an employer from the past might might ask you to come back or the people at your current job, if they find out that you want to leave, they might actually want to raise your salary. So make this, um, take this risk, make this new change in your life, this opportunity. Let's see one more time. One more time, one more card. Why did I say one more time? That's interesting. One more time. You might want to have a go at it again. Revisit the professional relationship for some of you. Oh God. Some of you have just thrown away um, whatever you've been working on and you're like, let's do it again. Maybe you were caught up in a research project and the testing period has ended. Things were not working. They were clunky. Mercury retrograde might have really interfered with data processing. And now you're just like, you know what? We're going to throw it all away and we're going to start all over again. We're going to do it one more time. And it could be the same with some of you who are writing chapters right now for a dissertation or just maybe if you're writing your book, you're creating a website for your company. It's like you need to just throw everything away and begin on fresh grounds, fresh energy. We have here new life. Wow, <laughs> exactly what I was saying. You see this powerful fist of power, right? And I love the fact that she's this beautiful, gentle fairy that is waking up. So you're waking up in this period to your vitality, your potential, your creativity, your capacity to destroy the work that has kept you caught in some sort of karmic bondage and recreate your work anew. Saturn in Aquarius, and usually Aquarius energy, is the energy of 
the great heavens, the great awareness bringer, Uranus, who can create new worlds into being and then as quickly as he has created them, destroy them in a moment with the tap of his finger. So I feel that you're tapping into this energy at the moment, understanding the limits of your brilliance, but also understanding your creator's capacity and how easily you can tap into one and then tap into another. Wow. And then we have exchanging gifts. So I feel that a more generous period is coming into your career on your professional path. You will be able to have more of whatever it was that you were limiting yourself in the past. More money, more gifts, more awards. There is just more coming your way. Jupiter could be transiting through your second house. It could be transiting through your ninth house as well, your 11th house. Usually when we have Jupiter transiting through the second house, we earn more money. We receive more gifts. It's more easily coming to us. Um, but also Jupiter in the ninth and Jupiter in the 11th, it's usually the sign of getting a bursary, a scholarship, money from other people. Usually Jupiter in the eighth as well can play out in this manner, but it could come with some sort of like personal relationship and trustworthiness entanglements. So depending where you have Jupiter in your chart at the moment, it is bringing you a boon of gifts. Tap into this beautiful energy. Wow, this is the message that I have for you, Group 1. I really hope you have enjoyed it, my beautiful love big crew. I hope to see you in my next one. Take great care of yourself and success on your professional path. Namaste. Hey, Group 2. Hello, my loves. Welcome to a pick a card reading on the topic of what is next on your professional path. So let's give you some career messages that you need to hear at this moment, the moment when you stumbled upon this reading. Oh my god, it's exploding outside with dogs that are barking at each other. There is some sort of conflicting communication potentially coming your way. We'll see what the tarot has to say, but first I need to show you the lipstick you have chosen. This beautiful solar plexus inviting bright gold lipstick. Okay, so let's see. Don't worry, don't click away yet. I'm sure that, you know, this conflict could lead to some awakening or an opening. You know, not all conflicts in life are bad. And I know that the love and light community is afraid of conflicts, is afraid of anything that could be uh, not bright and pink and shiny and cute, um, but that's immature. I personally think that's immature. Um, in the love and light community, we also deal with shadows. We also deal with curses. We deal with the dark aspects of humanity, or at least the people that do their job well. So let's see. <laughs> wow, that sounded... Phew. Group two, I think a wave of confidence, a wave of determination is coming into your career path. So I'm pulling some cards, life shuffling from the dreams of Gaia Tarot. Okay, Ugh. all of the cards appeared blocked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn some white sage and I will unblock them for you, my loves, because I don't like this energy blocked. You might feel stuck. You could feel a little bit invisible, um, devalued. Oh, there you go. <sighs> yeah, well, I can actually tell you that there are moments like this in your career. You know, we sometimes need to go through a low in order to reach a high. And actually, we tend to attract a lot of conflict, a lot of feelings of doubt and weird kind of energy right before we are having some sort of spiritual breakthrough. So don't be afraid if you're going through a period right now when things feel a little bit weird and you don't understand what this energy is, you're still doing your spiritual routine, you're still taking care of work as you used to, but things out of your control keep happening. It could also be a manifestation of your shadow self, okay? So accept the discomfort and move through it because it will take you to the other side. Yeah. So I feel the need to swallow. So it's hard for you to swallow certain truths at the moment, certain truths that could feel uncomfortable. Don't worry, boo. I'm going to see you through this in a kind and gentle way. We have here wisdom. Yeah. So this is the wheel of fortune energy. We also have here the seven of cups. Too many options, feeling confused, feeling pulled between a variety of different opportunities, not knowing where the truth lies. You feel that maybe people around you are hiding something from you. And then, oh, beautiful. We also have the Six of Pentacles. This is the card of bounty, of awakening, of just 
there is something karmic taking place. So if at the moment you feel very challenged, you see the cycle, right? Or the sickle, sorry about the pronunciation. Um, and you see this weight that has been placed on his shoulders. A weight is being placed on your shoulders at the moment. You could feel the pressure, the tension to achieve something, to complete a project, to do your best, to have only good results, to get only good grades. Um, because the reward, the material financial reward at the end of it is very important for you and your development. It could actually set you for life. But at the moment, you also feel this sense of uncertainty, anxiety. You're comparing yourself with other people and you're wondering, am I coming up short? What's happening? This is just the stress, the stress of this work pressure speaking through you. And if you are manifesting conflicts, if there are people coming at you left and right with criticism or like messages out of the blue and you read them and you're like, why does this feel like a punch in my stomach when I read it? It's First of all, the effect of karma, a consequence of your action from the past that is coming back to be mirrored at you. And second of all, it is a test. It's showing you, are you determined enough to see this through? Sometimes Saturn and Pluto, they bring up these really strange occurrences in our life and Uranus as well in quite shocking ways in order to test our determination. Can we see something through? Are we committed 100% to our path and only those that are truly committed to truly standing in their integrity brave and they will not give up those are the ones that will reach across the finish line complete the project deliver the goods earn the rewards so it's kind of like you're fighting a boss in a computer game at the moment but the boss keeps splitting into tiny um, enemies that keep hiding in corners and then they lunge swords at you or like <laughs> tiny spears I'm sorry I just this is the only analogy that I could think of at the moment so it's kind of like um, a big colossus that was broken into tiny pieces because this is what I see here with the seven of cups and all of a sudden now there are tiny jabs tiny um, limits, obstacles, things not working from burning your tongue on the coffee cup right when you sit down to get to work, from having other people maybe drilling holes into walls while you are trying to get some peaceful work done and you're trying to concentrate, from having people like constantly maybe criticize you, maybe you have to deal with customers or clients that uh, keep returning goods to you or you have to deal with very difficult people, you have to schedule telephone calls with very difficult individuals, things are lagging and thereby you end up picking up the brunt of why are things not working you are the one that's supposed to give explanations at the moment but it's all working out incrementally it might not happen overnight but it is working out for you okay so I see very sweetly here that do your work do the best that you can and then retreat retreat and rest you need a lot of alone time, you need a lot of downtime and a lot of solitude in order to process all of these karmic lessons. It's like you are um, a jockey on a horse that is lunging and jumping and, you know, doing all sorts of athletic feasts over a variety of different obstacles, one harder than the other. And eventually you are going to reach the finish line. You might think that the finish line is really far away, but it's actually closer than you think. So don't give up, okay? Keep being determined. It's kind of a similar message to group two. So I'm not sure if you listen to group, uh, sorry, to group one. <laughs> this is group two. So I'm not sure if you listen to group one as well. Maybe you have, in which case I'm super happy that you're hanging out with me. But there is a feeling here, my love, that you need some time. Um, I also feel... And please don't take this the wrong way, but you might need further training. If you are feeling overwhelmed at the moment, if you keep feeling that people are criticizing you at work, uh, maybe in your studies as well, maybe you have a supervisor that constantly keeps telling you, no, this is wrong. What is wrong with you? You know, um, <laughs> maybe not so brutally, um, but you just get a bad feeling like this person doesn't respect my skills. Get further training, get help, get support. There are so many resources for you to access at the moment. So make use of them. Sure, it might delay the process, it might put a little bit of a spanner in the works, so to say, but eventually you will come out of this with more wisdom, with better skills, 
and you might even ask for a promotion you know a raise or you might actually switch jobs switch the environment once you level up yeah so this is a period of broadening your intellect in order to help you overcome these tough karmic relationships that you have with people customers uh, your workmates uh, the people the teamwork that you might need to lead Everybody that you meet through work at the moment brings with them a tough karmic lesson. But persevere because success is yours. You're also quite a generous and very sweet person. I feel like you like to give gifts. You like to support good causes. I feel that for those of you that have chosen group two, you're humanitarian at heart. So maybe this period hurts you a little bit. Some of you could be also highly introverted, so you might not be doing so well with uh, verbal communication, but you're excellent with written communication. So write it down, put it in a letter, in an email. If there is something that you need to get off your chest, do it with compassion, do it in a written form, in a form that you feel comfortable, get help, get support. Maybe talk to a counselor as well. Maybe talk to a vocational uh, professional. Maybe uh, go and check your strengths see where you need to improve because help is available now let's see what the wisdom of the oracle has to say as well i'm really really curious so you're gaining wisdom right now okay every annoying grating irritating situation that happens to you gives you food for thought regarding who you are and every time when you overcome one of these moments that is um getting you to well, triggering you basically. Every time when you overcome one of these moments with patience, with deep breathing, with really putting up with a person that is testing your nerves, you rise above. There is this spiritual development that is happening. And don't worry because it's just a period. It has an expiration date. Yeah. So let's see. A change in the wind. What was I saying? Okay, so it will not last forever. Um, an outcome, a resolution is right around the corner. I feel that some of you are also waiting on the results of some sort of legal case in which, and uh, yeah, and I'm getting a sense that you're a little bit worried about that. It's like, will I get my victory? I would be tempted to say yes. Let me pull one more card. There is certainly a change coming. You feel the winds of change rustling through your hair. Um, maybe it's just the air conditioner at work. I'm just saying, you know. There is a feeling of, yeah, chop wood. Make haste. Now is the time to actually act on your instinct at work. So if you feel like you need to write a letter, if you feel like you need to send out a resume or contact this person, do it. Don't delay. Do it. Jupiter is in Aries at the moment at which I'm filming this reading. And it's encouraging all of us to think quick. Act fast. Okay, that will lead you towards success. That will lead you exponentially towards growth and abundance. Yeah, so chop wood. We also have here round and round, but it was blocked. So it was upside down. I'm getting a sense that you're breaking through a karmic cycle by thinking outside of the box in this period, which is the quintessence of a Saturn in Aquarius transit. You have to think outside of what you know in order to break the karma, to dissolve it. Yeah. So you might have been going round and round in your mind, not knowing what is happening. Why is everything so weird? But detaching yourself from whatever is going on at work, even if just for a couple of moments once you finish work and you come home, this is going to give you a new perspective. But try not to distract your attention once you are alone with social media. Just try to keep yourself in a space where you allow your mind to wander, to think about uh, everything that has happened to you at work, to reflect upon the relationships and why do you think these things have happened. For some of you, the questions or basically the answers to your questions can only be found here, within. So... <laughs> You might look for advice from other people. You might ask for help. Sure, you might get further training. Do all of those things. But eventually, you need to come home to you and to ask yourself, what do I know about the situation? What do I feel? Do I feel content with this? Do I feel happy? Do I feel like I should persevere or should I give up? So, breaking through a karmic cycle, the winds of change are coming. Yeah, so there will be a change. You can either wait for it or instigate it. It's up to you, boo. You have a lot of willpower. And chop wood, okay? Get ready. Prepare. Organize everything. <laughs> Make sure that you have some savings. 
to see you through whatever leap of faith you are ready to take in your career because things will change. And for some of you, the structure of the current work environment in which you find yourself will slowly crumble. So get ready for that. This is the message that I had for you, group two. I really hope that it helped. Let me know down in the comments. Make sure to like this video as well and subscribe if you haven't already. We love to welcome you in our growing spiritual social family. And I really hope I can see you in my next one, okay? Take care and God bless you on your professional path. Hey, group three. Hey, my loves. Welcome to a pick a card reading on the topic of what is next on your professional path. This is for those of you that were drawn to this bright pink velvet lipstick. Welcome. I hope you're doing well. And if you're not doing well, let's brighten up your day with some interesting spiritual messages. I say interesting because you never know what's going to pop up. Spirit has been a bit full of tough love lately, but let's see. Some of you are anxious about the messages. Don't be. It's okay. <laughs> I'm here to guide you through it, okay? You're not alone. So let's see. I'm going to life shuffle from the dreams of Gaia Tarot. Then I also have the wisdom of the Oracle. We're going to keep it short and simple today. So let's see. King of Air. Ooh. Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. For most of you, this is an Aquarius that is a bit heavy handed with you in this period. This person could give you more tasks. They could demand a lot from you. They might cross a lot of things off the work that you're doing, telling you to redo it. It's not good enough. You can do better. Come up with better ideas. We should brainstorm more about it. This is a highly intelligent individual. And I think part of this is why he can be quite intimidating. You might want to please this individual because of the fact that he seems to be quite a brilliant man. Um, this can even be a father figure for some of you. So you might want to finish a course of study. You might want to get a job that pays well so that um, you can receive some compliments from your own father figure. Yeah, could be the biological father or the social father, variety of different fathers out there. But I see here a strong, rational um intelligent man who's great at communicating but he can be emotionally detached and you want to please this individual with the fruits of your labor interesting let's see the other cards that we have so we have here the seven of wands blocked it feels like you want to give up it feels like you don't want to put in the fight anymore maybe you had to stand up and defend your rights but this person somehow always had the upper hand in any argument that you brought forth um this person might have quenched your passion for a specific um, topic that you're studying if you are in doing a degree at the moment or doing some research working in academia or you are in school or this might also be if this is a boss figure or somebody that has some sort of authority over you, they just completely, through their criticism, through their feedback, um, they completely took the passion out of your life. I'm getting a sense that this person made you more introverted than you were when you began the course of study or the job. Yeah, that's, that's the energy that I'm getting here. You feel a little bit defeated. You feel like... Well, that's it. What can I do? I cannot impress this person. I cannot overpower them. I cannot prove myself to them. I cannot please them. And for the majority of you, this is a big lesson in healing your sense of self-worth. That it shouldn't be attached to you pleasing another individual. But that it comes from you just being you. Powerful. Healing. You see the lotus on the cup in front of her? Enlightenment. The cat transmuting energy from negative energy i cannot do it to well hang on a minute my self-worth is not predicated by your opinion of me i know i am good at this but i cannot please somebody that has expectations risen to the level of venus yeah so you're seeing the situation right now through a clear rational pragmatic prism because this was the job of this air sign to teach you how to see reality with bright, clear eyes. To teach you how to see an individual with their faults and with their qualities. Because I feel that before this disappointment, you tended to idealize maybe men in positions of power. Maybe air signs. Or maybe just somebody that 
has some sort of authority over you. Teachers, bosses, you tended to idealize them. You tended to want to please them, to be nice, to submit to them. Now you're realizing, hang on a minute. I can be as equal to you as anybody else. Yeah? But I cannot please a person that refuses to be pleased. It's just not going to happen. So this is a really big lesson in maturity and self-empowerment. But paradoxically, it's hidden as a disappointment. Sometimes some of our strongest lessons, they come disguised as disappointments, failures, mistakes. That's what Lao Tse used to say in the Tao Te Ching. This person is some sort of spiritual master in your life. You might not believe it, but they are. Um, and I think, you know, personally, there could be some sort of like arguments or disappointments happening between the two of you. But like on a spiritual level, this person is going like, congratulations, you finally got it. You stood up to me. You finally understood what you had to do. So we're getting then into the realm of emotions. Yeah. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the equivalent of the sun card. But you can see very clearly from this energy, the bright light that is pouring into your awareness at the moment, how you are drawing a boundary, a very necessary, healthy boundary, and you're stopping this idealization of somebody that was constantly asking you for more and more. It was never enough, and you always had to give and give, and it's like, stop. That's it. Enough. I had it. And that's the moment of empowerment, okay? So you might decide that you want to be your own boss. You might decide that you want to go solo and start your own company, your own set of creative projects, your own app, your own research department, whatever it is that this person felt like he had the upper hand on you. Now you've decided to empower yourself and to say, I don't need to please you. I can go my own way and I will be as successful as you. Yeah, so I see for the majority of you, this will play out, maybe not in exactly the same terms. You have, however, a karmic teacher that is empowering you through disappointment, through telling you that you are never good enough. You're realizing, hang on a minute, I'm not dependent on your opinion of me. You go group three. <laughs> and then we also have here, this is the seven of pentacles, the seven of coins, planting new seeds. It's like... You've bought a plot of land that has nothing to do with this landlord, yeah? It's like, whatever, you keep your fantastic farm over there. I'm buying my own plot of land and I'm going to start sowing my seeds. I'm going to raise some corn. I'm going to raise some cabbage, but it will be my corn, my cabbage, and it will be phenomenal. It will be much better than yours because I have the skills and the expertise having studied with you. Sorry, having studied with you. Um, having gained the knowledge that you imparted upon me and having challenged me so much, I became so good in such a short period of time. And now I can actually speed through this next project that I'm creating. You might not believe it right now because maybe you're just in the initial phases, you know, the incipient plan of your business, your project, your book, whatever it is that you're trying to create independently from this institution, from this man, uh, from this boss, from this authoritarian parent, whatever you're trying to create, it will take off like a house on fire. But patience is required, okay? And why am I saying house on fire? Because look at this. Look at the fire behind his back. Look at the light pouring in after a period of darkness and submission. Look at her hair, how it is floating into ether, expanding. This is you. This is you, boo. Yeah, this is you. Yeah, so you're finally finding the confidence, the inner peace to not be broken down. You are finally rising from this period of servitude. You're standing in your light, your backbone, your professional backbone has been solidified. Now you're going to take it and achieve wonders, but independently, independently from this person's power. Now, I don't think that you're going to burn the bridge with this individual for good. I think that you're going to keep things open and whatever happens, happens. And it might just well be that a couple of years down the line, this person will get into contact with you or you meet them at a conference or maybe at some sort of like business event. They're going to pat you on the back. Well done. I never thought you could do it, but here you are doing it. Thriving. 
So keep that beautiful dream alive because I see great, great things happening and don't be afraid to disobey. This is so important to you because I feel like you've been this person raised to be incredibly obedient. You might have been rewarded for it, but now is the time to rebel. And this is what's going to give you your power back. And this is what's going to push you towards the professional wealth, success and achievement that your ambitious heart always has been yearning for. But somehow, maybe you are karmically blocked, maybe you are afraid. I am getting some shortness of breath as well. No more. No more fear. No more. You're putting this in the bin. Let's see what the wisdom of the oracle has to say. God, I love this message. Let me know, guys, in the comments if this resonates. Let's see. Just the wisdom of the oracle spirit. For group three. Yeah. Come to the edge. Come to the edge. Be rebellious. Jump. Okay? Um... <laughs> Well, don't jump from places that might actually cause you harm. Of course, this is a metaphorical jump. Um, feel free to say no. Feel free to, you know, close the door in somebody's face. Enough is enough. It's so, so important right now for you to be a bit bolder in your career in order to push all of the things that have been pressed on your back, push them away. Yeah. And completely just... Stand tall and proud. I feel the need to do these movements with my body. So I feel that you're also going to ride the wave of inspiration. You see here the wind, the rose petals, 11-11 when I said that. Hey! So you're going to welcome this fresh uh, wind of changes. When we talked about uh, the winds of change in group two, so maybe you're hearing the message from there. I have a feeling like you're going to go through a period that will be quite passionate, quite charged with vitality and energy you're going to make decisions left and right you're going to feel as if this courageous brave entity is taken over you you might not even recognize the things you're saying and doing at work in the next period but then you're going to quiet down and you're going to make a plan a plan that will actually reap beautiful rewards slowly and steadily it's coins energy so patiently yeah we also have here peace <laughs> peace out yeah so I feel that you're just going to put yourself back together. If you are like Humpty Dumpty who fell from the wall and cracked his shell, now you're going to get somebody to help you patch up. You're going to maybe even get a new coating, a uh, fresh color. You are going to reinvent yourself and it is exactly what you need to do at this moment for your spiritual growth, for your astrological development, maybe the astrological transits in your chart are really enticing you to do this. It's important. It's important though that you, you go with these changes. You don't block yourself. You don't push yourself into submission and scrunch yourself because of fear. Don't allow fear to take over in your life because you are not going to enjoy the rest of the years that you'll have in the specific occupation. Take a leap of faith. Come to the edge and try something new. Be a bit risky. I feel that if you take a risk right now in your career, it will pay off. And I feel that you also need to trust that the time you have spent with this king of air has been working for you and not against you. He's been teaching you so much by criticizing you or by being so hard and um, difficult with you. You don't know it now, but the discipline, the efficiency, the attention to detail, the patience, just having to put up with somebody else's ego and commands and instructions, all of those things build you into a stoic powerhouse. And I think that this is exactly the kind of discipline you need now to go your own path. Do not delay. The time is now. It is time for you to come to the edge and claim your peace. I don't think that spirit is just going to give it to you like this. There might be something in your chart that says you have to claim it. You have to show us the angelic team, the ancestors, your spiritual guides. You have to show us or them that you are bold enough to want to try this, that you really want this peace. And I think you do. I really think you do. My heart goes out to you, group three. I'm sending you so much light and healing energy because you deserve it, boo. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to not be overpowered 
by this king of air whoever this person is in your life i do see him very present here claim your power come back to that spiritual backbone that you have developed throughout the years this is the empowering message that I had for you. I hope you have enjoyed it, Group 3. I'm sending you massive amounts of love. Please take care of yourself, and I hope to see you in my next one. Good luck on your professional path. Mwah!